This you can see. Okay, I'm pretty much in the middle line and I'm actually nicely away from the lateral. But I know I'm going up here so that if I do go near the lateral, I'm going to be far away from it because from my scan I could see that I can hit over the lateral without any problem. So I'm just going to go there and you can see I don't go too far. Yeah, so one to one. 40,000 RPM and you can see there I'm rocking. I'm rocking as well. And you can see I've got I've got my my water on, and I've also got my assistant with the, my assistant putting water on as well. Okay, all going nicely. Open wide, eh? Open wide. A little bit of tapping here, Bob's okay. Mm -hmm. Open wide. That's right, okay. But there you can check there. You can see the thickness of this core, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, there you can see, just to give you an idea, we're dealing in some areas about five, nearly six millimeters thick. So this is ideal if you want to do a palatal ring technique. Now we got that, so we got nice bone around there, okay? Let's put a little bit more on so. Just going to collect a little bit more, because we have quite big defects, so I want to make sure I've covered every aspect. Of that thing blocked again. I've just hit 50 newtons that quickly. More than 50. Okay, so because I've gone over 50, I'm now going to turn it out. So what I've done is I've almost done the final preparation of the osteotomy site with my implant, okay. So I'm turning it back to take the pressure off the bone. If I don't, there's a chance of pressure necrosis of the bone, okay. So what I've done now is I've got it and I've got much, much better stability. Such a there. Okay, let's go. Next one. Okay, here I've already picked up 50 right up to there. So I'm going to change over to my hand, to my hand thing. Okay, I want to get them about the same height. Can you see there? Okay, everyone happy? Just getting a, I'm just getting an idea of the size and the shape. I can see how nicely this one fits into that position. You can see there. Okay, so here you can see my bone holder. These things are imperative for bone blocks because they give you the stability that you require to actually maneuver. 
And now you can see how much better this is now using my ronja. Everybody was using their fingers and trying to hold everything with a ronja. Yeah, you can see how much nicer this is now with this, with this little guy. Yeah, this bone is very hard here. Okay, so just shaping that, thinning it out. So you can see they have created a much thinner block. Okay. And let's see now what, how it fits in. Okay, which is nice, I like that. And you can see I've got space between the block and everything. Okay, I'm not gonna go this side because I'd hit the, I'd hit, uh, there's a chance I'd hit the root. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm starting at an angulation here and I'm going across. Okay, so starting from the middle of the block and angulating it away from the, uh, from the, uh, I'll wait a little bit. No, no, I'll show you later. All right, just let me show you here. You can see one way. I'm checking to see the depth. Can you see now? I can see my depth. What am I going to use? I'm going to now use a, that is, goes in, it's a nine millimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna use a nine millimeter screw. Yeah. I'll give it a very deep head. Okay, there you can see. Nice and thick. Okay, there you can see how nicely that fits in. Okay. Now that's shaped. Also about nine millimeters. Okay, you're happy there. That's nice and smooth. Into the spaces. Keep open them. <coughs> so I'm just filling up in the, 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 the little space up at the top here. Okay, I'm now going to go and uh, put BIOS over the whole thing. I think I'm going to have to do more release here because I've built out quite a bit. So I'm going to do... Okay, that is just an insulin syringe that I'm using. Thank you. 
There you can see the final, the final graft there. And we're just yeah. going to put the membrane in. So you know, is it you know the more the more membrane you put there, the more issue you're going to have. And the fact of the matter is, here I don't really need membrane because I've got the because the the, the bone block itself is, is is good is good enough for membrane on its own. I'm just filling the palatal area up with the. Uh, open wide for me. Yeah. Open wide. Oh, sorry, I just got to put my head in the way. I'm sorry about this. You can see how nicely now using the syringes works in placing bone into these deep sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you always approximate your edges first, always. That's a standard rule of suturing. Now we start to now we start to suture the sides. Okay, um, and then move my way up so that I've got an absolutely tension-free flap over there. You can see now it's tension-free. I've got the a, a position of the two sides together nicely. Let's have a full O nylon piece. See the edges now. The nice the nice position of the edges. Okay. Have a dentist, please. Okay, everyone happy?